Hey YouTube, we're gonna talk about the number one complaint I hear from customers regarding contractors, electricians, plumbers, heating and cooling, number one complaint. I'll be curious if any of you out there agree. Um, comment below, let me know. I read the comments. Um, let me know if you have found this to be true in your area um, as, as I have. So one of the largest complaints I receive is phone calls, text messages, and email that the contractor is impossible to get a hold of and doesn't return phone calls, misses appointments. This is the most fundamental, basic principle in business, communication. Um, I'm using a smartphone to record this video. I would be willing to wager that 90 percent plus of contractors out there probably more than that I'm just I'm being conservative have a smartphone that they receive text messages have Facebook have Google um, that they are able to receive send text messages and it is unbelievable to me how many of them will not return a phone call or a text respond to your customers talk to your customers communicate with your customers this is the fundamental this is like business uh, self-employed 101 respond to a phone call why can't you pick up the phone and call a lot of customers that I have are elderly they don't do text I get that so I call them if I'm gonna be late if I'm gonna be five minutes late you can always reset the clock you just need to call them and communicate it's so simple I don't understand why contractors just it, the phone just goes to the wayside you can call them, they're, you know their family's calling them, you know their wives are calling them, you know their kids are calling them. It, it just doesn't make any sense. Why in the world people are not returning phone calls? Okay, number one complaint, phone calls. They, they can't get a hold of the contractor. This is in the same exact vein is showing up. They show up to meet and give a price, but then the customer never hears back from them. Why waste your time? Why waste the customer's time? Show up, give the customer a quote. If you are so swamped with work, raise your prices. Slow down the workflow so that you can actually have sanity sitting on your shoulders when you go out there and you're heading, you can think clear. If you have more work, raise your prices. You wanna find that sweet spot. You wanna find that balance between how much work you have and how much time you have. You should not be booked out three years in advance. You shouldn't be booked out, you know, a couple weeks, couple months, that's acceptable. Um, if you do a lot of bigger projects, I specialize in small projects. Um, kind of one of my taglines is projects around the house that the big contractors don't wanna do. Um, it might be replacing some switches, it might be replacing outlets, it might be painting a bedroom, painting a whole house. I do get into bigger, the bigger projects I get into are bathroom, model, bathroom remodels and tile jobs. So I get into some bigger stuff. So that's not a big deal, but, um, and in my busiest time, the most I would be booked out, you know, two, three months, but I've, I've worked my schedule so that I can be on the job four days a week. And I always keep my Fridays available for my existing customers doing small jobs and quoting new jobs, meeting with new customers. Um, and it works really well, but for good, for guys, come on, show up to your appointments. If you are not going to make it, call the customer so they're not sitting at home. I don't know if you've ever had to wait for anybody. I have appointments at 10 o'clock. It's 10.05. You're looking at the clock like, eh, I wonder, you know, they're running a few minutes late, maybe hit traffic, no big deal. 10 minutes later, they're looking at the clock again, looking out the window. Some of these customers have enough time to watch their grass grow. So they're definitely watching the clock when you say you're gonna be there at 10 o'clock. A lot of companies will give a window. I typically give an, a window, two hour window, but I always say, I will call you when I'm on my way. How simple is that? You're leaving a job, you're heading to Mr. Smith's house, pick up the phone, call him, say, hey, Mr. Smith, David here, I'm on my way, I'll be there, my GPS is shown, I'll be there in 15 minutes. He knows exactly when you're gonna show up. They love that. It is a game changer for customers that you called and let them know you were on their way, they didn't have to wait. If you're gonna be an hour late, there are times you get hung up on a job. If you know you're gonna be an hour late, pick up the phone, call them. 
Mr. Smith, I real I apologize. I'm running behind on the project I'm on. I'm not gonna get there when I thought. I'm gonna be about an hour late. Is that okay? You know, I don't want, I know you guys might have stuff you need to do. If Mr. Smith is retired, he'll flat out tell you, I'm retired, get here when you get here, that's fine. If Mr. Smith is a busy guy, like a lot of us are, he'll say, you know what, that's not gonna work for me, can we reschedule? Reschedule the appointment. Use your smartphone, put a calendar event in, and save the date. It's not rocket science. It is so simple, it's stupid that people do not do this. I don't get it. Pick up the phone, return a phone call. If somebody leaves you a message, return the message. If somebody texts you, return. You don't have to return it within five minutes of them calling. Return the call at the end of the day on your ride home, make your calls. On my ride home, I return a lot of phone calls. I scribble scratch on my center console as I'm driving down the road. I got my headset in or I'm using the Bluetooth in the vehicle and I'm not even looking, but I'm just kind of scratching. I might glance down here and there. I'm making sure I'm just taking a couple notes, communicating with the customers, finding out if they need appointment sets. If they need an appointment set, when I get off the phone, I just tell my phone, hey Siri, set an appointment for Friday morning, 10 a.m. with Mr. Smith. And then I get home and I might have to change that or edit it because it doesn't always catch your dictation properly and I understand that. But I mean, guys, return phone calls. It is so simple. Text somebody. You guys are all texting out there. I know everybody's texting. People text too much as far as I'm concerned. I prefer to pick up the phone sometimes. Um, but there's many times customers communicate with me through text. Hey, when can you get me on the schedule? How does, and I give them two dates available. Just respond to the text. It's... It's so simple. If you are so swamped with work, you need to raise your prices or restructure some of the things that you are doing. If you need help with any of this, that's what I'm doing these videos for. I wanna help some guys be able to, you know, small guys, small companies, restructure, set up some systems. It's very simple. Um, I have some practices that have been tried and true, not just by me. These are things that I've learned that I wanna share and pass on. So that's all I wanted to share today return phone calls, pick up the phone, show up to appointments. If you can't make an appointment, you're further ahead. It's not embarrassing. It happens every day. Mr. Smith, I'm sorry, this job I'm on, the wheels fell off and I'm gonna be here all day. I can't make it today. I apologize for any inconvenience and you reschedule the appointment. Um, on a very rare occasion, a customer might get a little perturbed with that and they might not want to, but they'll appreciate the phone call. It's a matter of respect. Do unto others as you'd have them do unto you. You would want somebody to call you so you're not sitting at your home, taking time off, waiting for a contractor to show up, and he's a no-show. I mean, this is so big in the heating and cooling, electrical plumbers, contractors, handymen, anybody who's showing up, drywallers, you're showing up to do a repair, any type of thing like that around the house, guys are not showing up. And it, it, it drives customers crazy. And that is what has set me apart in my area. They said they don't, they're like, you, you're the first, you're the only one that's called me back. You're the only one that's gonna show up. Um, they will say other people have shown up, but they never get them a price. Be open with them on how long it's gonna take you to give them a price. If you can get them a price that day, awesome. Get them a price, I email all my quotes. I always say, I'll have this to you within a week. Um, there are times that I miss that deadline. Again, just communicate. Hey, Mr. Smith, I haven't forgot about you. You're the next quote on my list. I'll have that out to you here within the next couple of days. And there's always a response with, hey, thanks for the update. I appreciate it. Then you, they at least know that it's on your list. It's so simple, guys. It's not rocket science. It's simple. That's what I want to share today. Take that. Use it. If you guys have any other comments, please um, subscribe to my channel. Um, comment in the section below. Let me know you subscribed. Um, I respond to my comments. Hit the like and the thumbs up button. That really helps the channels out. And uh, we'll go from there. Thank you, guys.